Hey, what's up guys? Buttery Butters here. Just bring to you a quick testing video. Uh, basically, if you're not aware, I moved to main and my upload speed is tanked from 50 up to 1 up. So, I'm trying a few different combinations of settings to try to still keep 720, but uh, also be able to actually upload in less than 24 hours. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a point in this video about material farming in Tales of Basiria. Hopefully I uh, pronounced that right. Uh. Alright, so this is my completed game, my first playthrough, and uh, I compiled a small list of places where you can uh, farm for materials. Um, if you're not familiar with this, uh, every single item in the game has a material attached to it. Uh, some of them are a mineral, like Amphobial or uh, Mithril or Adamantine, but some of them are rare, like Dragon Slayer, Demon's Bane, Purified Blade, Mithril Blade, Phonon, Fury Purser, Wing Harvester, blah blah, you get it. And of course, the unnamed. Um, the rare weapons, the ones that don't have a mineral attached to them, are actually pretty hard to farm if you don't know what you're doing. So, um, there's a few little things you can do to increase the drop rates. One of them, the easiest one, is these particular titles. Every character gets them from defeating enemies that drop items, and at the final level you get 2.4 times uh, drop rate, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you can also add a whole bunch of stuff to it. I think there is a sash... F yep, there we are, 1.35 in the enhancement bonus and skills. And if you want to know about enhancement bonuses for uh, equipment, you can actually look that up yourselves. Because it's way too intense to get into. But there are certain places to farm enemies that drop certain things. So first we're going to Helavis. This is the first town you will go into into the game in the Fiagal Ice Caps, by the way. I forgot. I was grinding, so I turned the music off and put on my own music. Boop. There we go. Um, these are the first enemies you'll fight in the game. They're all really weak, even if you pull them into dangerous encounters where you link two enemies together. Uh, dangerous encounters match enemy levels to you, but don't increase their health, so you can still defeat these guys pretty easily. The only bad thing about farming here is uh, there is an advanced dire foe, which dire foes appear when you earn a lot of great in consecutive battles, and the one for Fiagal Icecaps is Loondworm, the toughest one, so don't farm here early in the game. But this is the best place to farm for bronze scraps because the wolves, the orcs, the stag beetles, and the eagles all drop items that give bronze scraps when you dismantle them. The eagles drop frayed ribbons, the werewolves drop uh, uh, sturdy belts, the orcs drop blood blades, and the stag beetles drop uh, iron wristlets. And they all dismantle into bronze scraps. Uh, there's a couple other places in the early game, Danan Highway, Burnyak Plateau, and Vortigern, that all give you uh, bronze scraps. However, Danan Highway and Vortigern you can't revisit until late game, and at that point, I th Danan Highway has different enemies, so you actually can't farm bronze scraps there anymore, but you can revisit Vortigern, but there's no f easy way to fast travel to Vortigern, so... Anyway, let me just get into a battle here. This is useful. Work. Yep, orcs are level 5, eagles are level 7, and werewolves are level 5. All are easy enough to defeat. I don't even know what arts I have set on here because I'm in the middle of my new game plus playthrough. Your style is really unique. Yep, as you can see, I already got uh, two weapons, but neither of them were what I wanted. Dangerous encounters increase rare drop rates, as well as increasing the difficulty. If you're playing on hard, there's a better chance of enemies dropping equipment but you also have the higher chance of running into dire foes, which could spell bad times for you. Alright, so... Again, Fiagal Ice Caps is the best place to farm for bronze. Now, the best place to farm for silver is Felades Ruins or Aldina Plains. Uh, go over this way. This item you have, by the way, you won't get until mid-game. The Geoboard allows you to plow through enemies that are, I think, 15 levels lower than you. These are the Felades Ruins in here. When you actually get inside the building. I'm going to try to keep this video below 10 minutes because I think that's the only way I'll be able to upload in a half decent speed. Here we are, the Felades Ruins. In here. In the Felades Ruins, the 
Roving Spirits, Night Flappers, Argent Armors, and Undying Wretches all give you items that drop silver scraps. And there are three of them here. The Night Flappers, the Roving Spirits, and the Undying Wretches. The Argent Armors are the big walking things of armor, so they're easy enough to find. Enemies here are a little tougher, and of course you have to worry about the fact that if you do too well in these battles, you have to deal with Lund War, because again, you're in the Fiagal Ice Caps. Specifically North Gale is where Lund War shows up. Didn't get any items there. You get the rare items much better much more often if you pull two enemies together, which you don't think you can do until about late early game. So that's the best place to farm those, but there's also another place, the Aldina Plains. This is another place that you get to in the mid game. It seems like a lot of the best places to farm are the overworld, like the Fiagal Ice Caps, the Aldina Plains. Dungeons don't tend to be a good place to farm, which is actually good because you can warp to uh, towns with the bottles and all the things. Anyway, uh, in Aldina Plains, the Hornets, the Aged Treants, the Wyverns, and the Fairies all drop items that dismantle silver scraps, so you already see two, three of these enemies right on the screen. I think there are like two enemies in the Aldina Plains that don't drop rare items that dismantle the silver scraps, so Flaties Ruins and Aldina Plains are fantastic for silver scraps. Now, the gold scraps are a little different because the only place you can get gold scraps are in late game areas, and it might actually be faster once you're in the late game to just earn money and buy the equipment and then dismantle it. It costs a lot more, though. But there are quite a few places that are good in the late game to uh, farm equipment. I'm not going to go to one of them because it's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, let's see. You've got Hexen Island, the Giants, the Gale Witches, and the Enticing Glamours all drop stuff that dismantles in the gold, but you can only revisit Hexen Isle late into the game. And I mean late, you need to complete a side quest and, to get there, and it's ridiculous. And uh, Hexen Island, there's no way to respawn the enemies the first time you're there, because the first time you're there, you can't go back to where you got to Hexen Island from, you can only leave. So you need to save it, and then try to get the rare drops you need, so it's not great to farm in until very late game. Baird March is a place that's really great. Um, uh, there should be a way to warp there. Actually, no, it doesn't look like there's a way to warp there. If I go to my world map, Baird March should be a route. Apparently not. Apparently it's considered a dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, it's on its own little island. There should be a way to fast travel there. Yeah, there we are. Lionel Island Wharf. It transports you to here, Baird March. And in Baird March, you find... Where is it? The uh, Hollowed Trees, the Red Mist Watchers, the Scatterers, and the, and the this area's fairies all drop rare items. I don't think the Mithril Giants, actually... Not the Mithril Giants, whatever these giants are. Are these called Scatterers? Let's double check. Oh! Yeah, the Red Mist Watchers ha are the armored guys. The Hallowed Trees are these guys, so... I'm just gonna button mash here because these guys aren't that dangerous. But these guys all drop gold scraps in the items. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Well, I'm great at this game. I'm playing on normal and I died to normal enemies. God, Roku looks good with the hat style. Ow, stop killing me, you dicks! Ah, that's what I thought. There we go. I didn't die, you totally didn't see that, it's cool. Well, they didn't drop anything that I wanted, but those are the types of enemies that do drop what you want. The gold scraps. Unfortunately, I've already let this video run a little long, and I can't show you the other ones because of time constraints. Which is a little annoying, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little testing video, and the little tips and tricks, because things. Anyway, talk to you guys later.